We are here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and we are searching for coffee. I know where coffee is. Okay, great. <laughs> we're not searching, we're just walking to coffee at this point. We are, on the other hand, we're gonna take you around the city today. Get some food. In Argentina, food is everything. So, let's yes. take you around for some culture and food. Oh, look at this art. Switching. Normally, I wouldn't get iced lattes. So I like my coffee hot, but it's hot here. By hot, it's like 79 degrees, which is great. So we just came from Antarctica. Yes. Where it was like 32, lows of 21 yeah. Fahrenheit. It's cold. So I guess you could say it's hot. Ooh, that is pungent. I thought somebody just had bad B.O., but I think it's these flowers in here. Nicole says she's got to try this workout equipment. That's scary. It's so fast. Don't hurt yourself. I won't, but you could have like a nice little jump on this thing for sure. Currently, we are in the Barrio Ricoleta. We have walked from Palermo to Ricoleta and are walking towards San Telmo. Not a lot of changes have occurred as far as from one barrio to the other yet. We do plan to hopefully see some variations of things. Although we did cut through a mall and that was quite refreshing. Don't In a you sense. agree? No. So many more people. Lots of people. It's Sunday. So a lot of people are just kind of peandering or peander, me meandering around. And yeah, I, I don't like that. Get out of my way. I like this way. Yeah, it, now we're walking in the shade, so it's a little cooler. But man, it is warm. Yeah. It's a beautiful here. Staircase. We found this little grocery store as we were walking past and uh, we don't have really any cash and we haven't seen a Western Union. Um, apparently you're supposed to either know somebody that does deals in cash or um, you can get scammed real easy, let's just say. So we've been looking for a Best, uh, best Western. Best Western? That's a hotel, right? Yes, that is what a is the Western what, Union. Western Union. So to finish up what I was saying inside the supermarket was, we're only here for until nine o'clock tomorrow night. So it's not worth finding a bank and trying to take out a bunch of money and have a bunch of cash on hand just to try to get your money back going back to the airport. You gotta find places that'll allow credit cards, which hasn't been a problem up to this point. The streets are a little interesting here. Um, there are stop lights, and, but a lot of people don't pay attention to them. And nobody uses blinkers. And there are landmines everywhere. That's a really, really cool architecture here. I, I think the next time we come down here, we need to take it a guided tour. 
where someone can give us some history of what influence there is. And well, there's a lot of influence. That's the thing about. That's what makes Buenos Aires very special. Is because there is such a variety of influence in the city, mostly coming from Europe. The melting pot yeah. of South America. It seriously is. I mean, you see a lot of Italian influence. In fact, at the corner of this building is um, like a crest that looks very similar to like the Medici crest mm. that you would see in Florence, minus the um, seven spheres. Um, and then also a lot of pizzerias. But then there's also a lot of German influence here, as well as Spanish influence. Apparently I just embarrassed Nicole because I was taking pictures of poop and people saw me doing it. <laughs> hey, there's some more. They're everywhere. It's important to document what's going on. Well, weirder than that is like the people across the street just watch me take a picture of them and their dog. I'm documenting all the dogs here in Buenos Aires. There are a ton of dogs in Buenos Aires. A couple of weirdos. Can I? Giving all Americans a bad name. Sorry. Western Union is one of the most trusted places to exchange money. From based what on I've, what? Based on what I've seen, we gotta go press here. Okay. Based on what I've seen and what I've researched in some of the other videos that I saw online, I'll link them below if I can find them again. Um, the blue rate versus the red rate. But I'll tell you, we just exchanged 150 USD and it all happened very quick and I have no idea. Based on my exchange app, we should have received 26,887 uh, Argentinian pesos. I'm pretty sure that we just got like 38,000. So I don't know if my app's wrong or he gave us too much. Well, um, in some of the research that I did, um, we got a blue rate and a red rate, the blue rate being the local rate. If you use credit cards, you get the red rate. If you're able to use cash, you get a blue rate, which gives you a big discount on what you're doing. But as you get into the smaller areas, you're not afforded a red rate because they don't do credit cards. So it's good to have some cash. But that just means we have to go on a spinning spree today and make sure we get rid of all the cash that we have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that was delicious and by far the best pizza we've had in Argentina. So one thing that we noticed is that there's a sign inside of the building that says they do not take cart. However, they did take cart. Now, going from US dollars into Argentinian pesos has been a little bit of trauma for me today. And it just doesn't feel like real money. Now we have this problem in Switzerland and I kind of feel like the same orientation. It's just like, I don't know how much we're actually paying for anything. So many people here. I think it's like 17 million in the greater um, Buenos Aires area. Um, the pizza was really delicious, and uh, it's definitely worth a try. We've had fugaceta and empanadas before, Good. but never on a pizza. That cheese in there was really, really good. Definitely worth a try. Let's get the heck out of here, though. Architecture here is literally the prettiest I've seen in the entire city thus far. Plaza de Mayo. It is absolutely stunning. You will see the mother's statues above. Sounds like French fries. Well, there's a huge difference on this side. It is very industrial, it's very new. And this is the fifth barrio we've come into, Puerto Madera. Back at it again this morning. Where are we headed? We are headed to La Boca, which will bring us to our sixth barrio in 24 hours. Which is what province? La Boca. Which is La Boca province. It's and not a province, it's a barrio. It's a barrio. I'll get it right eventually. We are uh, in search of coffee at the moment, and then we'll head over to... Caminito. Caminito, the painted streets.
you think so far? Very bright, very colorful. So you love it? It's very fun. I will say it's very touristy um, with all the markets and stuff. I'm, I want to eat something like an empanada out down here. But I think that there's some kind of like touristy tango situations about to happen. So that should be fun to watch.
been to Italy together, and I'm very interested to see what the local markets in those countries look like compared to down here. Because it is very, very Italian. Culture has served a little better too. It must have a crimper that crimps this so yeah. perfectly because um, it's uh, not quite full. Well, and the little crimps are perfectly. They are perfect. Well, that was delicious. <laughs> okay, great. I was asking what you thought. Amazing time. Very delicious. Yep. There's nothing better than going somewhere and eating in the market. You're getting pretty fresh stuff. You're getting the experience and the culture of normal people. You're always bound to see something weird. <laughs> like someone coming up to a table that just finished and they didn't clear off the plates yet and then they start eating the french fries. Just finishing up what the last people left. Hey, I mean, different strokes for different folks. A lot of things that we find in America that we may think is gross or something else that's wasteful in other countries. I would recommend hit your markets. Don't miss out on the market. Oh, oh, Hey guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We are done. We're getting on a plane that's boarding behind us right now. Join in. Would you like to join? We hope you guys enjoyed some of Buenos Aires <laughs> with us. We know that we didn't capture all of what Buenos Aires really has to offer as far as food, wine, and culture, and more. But we think we got a little bit of the tip of the iceberg here, and we hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up if you haven't already. And make sure you share this with a friend. 
Yes. And also, if you would, leave us a comment. What did you think? How could we improve? What would you like to see? All those things are very important to us. We want to continue to do this for you. I got nothing to add that. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye. 430. It was a very long walk today. And uh, we decided to take an Uber back, which was the most interesting Uber ride I've ever had in my entire life. He was bebopping. <laughs> First of all, he was just dancing and having a good old time, which is fine. I was having a good old time, and then all of a sudden the car stops. It dies. <laughs> and, he's, and he's obviously freaking out. Like, Oh, it's hot. Oh. Yeah, last part it's all just grainy lady no. Okay. 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 You really did. I'm really <laughs> <laughs>